Now a scheme at a Dumfries and Galloway dam is hoping to improve salmon numbers in one of the region's main rivers. At the Tonglin Dam near Kakubri, a huge amount of water is being pumped into the river to make conditions optimal for fish migration. Well, salmon were declared an endangered species last year and the ability to migrate is of course critical for their survival. Barnaby Papadopoulos reports. Energy generated by dams like this one powers our homes and our lives, but often its production can harm local wildlife and the nature it relies on. Here on the River Dee, three organisations have been working together to try and rebalance that relationship. Well, as Scotland's environmental regulator, our job is to secure improvements in the water environment where, where that's needed. Now here in the River Dee catchment, there's a, as, as you can see, there's a large uh, hydro scheme. It's been here for 90 years, but that scheme has an impact on the environment, as well as producing renewable energy, which is of course something we support. So that impact is essentially on the ability for fish to move effectively up into the catchment to spawn. This scheme is particularly important because this hydro scheme is right at the bottom of the catchment, right at the bottom of the river. So when salmon are coming into the system, they've got to encounter this, this huge infrastructure. In order to migrate, salmon must move up this 90-year-old fish pass, which runs up and over the dam. To help them, this system now fires two powerful jets of water, helping to create the best conditions for the fish to migrate easily. It's technology from this century enhancing the engineering of the last one. The fish pass is a, a ladder type structure that allows the fish, the migratory fish, salmon in this case, to migrate from the base of the dam up to the headwaters above. Drax have been working to make, to, to, to optimise the conditions in the river below the dam here, between the power station and the dam, um, to ensure that the flows within that section of the river were optimal for salmon passage up to the fish pass and up through the fish pass and on to the headwaters beyond. Last year, salmon were officially classed as an endangered species. The Galloway Fishery Trust say salmon levels in the River Dee are the lowest they've ever been and it's a decline they want to reverse. The work that's been happening in the last couple of years is looking at how we can change the amount of water that's been passed um, as the compensation flow, which runs from the 1st of April to around about the 1st of November. That is a baseline flow that makes the channel, the connection from here at the dam, for fish to move up from the power station and transfer into the fish pass. Rowan and members of her team use this fish counter to count the salmon. If their numbers are going to increase, their ability to migrate has to improve. They use in-river to spawn, to reproduce, and they use it sea to get to the large sizes that we see them returning. So maybe two, three years as juveniles, they'll then come from their native spawning grounds downriver, and the transfer here on the Kukubusha D happens. The smolts that are passing downstream to go to sea have to transfer by using mostly the power stations themselves, going through the turbine halls, and so they have up to three turbine holes to get through on their way down to river. It could take some time before the benefits of this scheme are visible, but people here are confident it can make migration up this river easier and ultimately rebuild the salmon population. Barnaby Papadopoulos, ITV News in Kukubri. Well, from looking after our waterways to preserving our villages, it's often the volunteers and community groups in our region that help to maintain its natural beauty. Well, tonight we're looking... Now the latest ITV News in the border region. Hello, welcome to Look Around, the latest news and sport for Cumbria and the south of Scotland. On the programme tonight, patients step up their fight to save cottage hospitals, which could shut permanently under future NHS plans. Also, the fish-friendly pipeline, hoping to boost salmon numbers in this Scottish river. 